Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wano deck deep dive. This time featuring the 152nd Infantry Division for the French, the new one with the Albion DLC Nemesis 2.2. The nukes have to be protected and it's down to these guys here to do it. So let's have to look into the French deck that tries to do that job. And let's have a look start in the logistics tab. Where we have some VABs, some PCs, and some supply cars here. So five CVs here, another three here, so eight CVs uh, getting you through the game nicely. Decent amount of supplies as well, with two cards uh, getting you decently in there as well. Then infantry tab, pretty numerous as well. We start with the uh, leader here that comes in a rest VAB, so it is pretty fast running around as well. Uh, the Command leader coming with three availability is okay. Uh, if you want to have something with smoke, you know, the Marines leader actually a pretty decent option as well. This one has a bit more hit points and one more availability. The superior leader, I don't think it's worth it. It's eight, eight hit points, but uh, it doesn't come in a faster transport. This one can come in the VAB as well. So, yeah, if you are fine with seven CVs, this one is absolutely. A decent option as well. The command delayer with the Vasp ATU launcher, not that great, but a lot of firepower, nine man squad, and shock trade, and the VIB uh, with uh, auto cannon transport, smoke, uh, helicopter range, so they come with their own AA piece in forward deploy. That is pretty helpful to deal with enemy helicopters trying to rush them, and they can really get into nice positions. Two cards of those on high veterancy. Uh, with some really strong infantry out of this. Then we have the marines in VABs. So you have a lot of armored transport here. And then we have uh, some reservists. These and some reservists LRAC. Uh, the reservists, the normal one, can come in the VAB as well. That is 5 points cheaper even, but it has the reservist trait. So it is a decent bit weaker with its gun as well, but 20 points is nice. The Reservist LRAC have the old LRAC low range uh, AT weapon, which gives them some AT. And yep, yeah, is a nice ex extra addition here to these guys uh, over the normal Reservists, which have the slightly better rifles as they have farmers instead. So, yeah, that's the trade there. Having some AT is nice. And then Gendarmerie de la Air as your uh, military police unit to keep those 24 reservists in check. Then we have some Milans, which come in the VAB Milan, because you need some ATGM vehicles in this deck. So Milan 2 and Milan 1, both in the VAB Milan. So as you can see, a lot of mechanized force in this deck. And like a lot of VABs here running around with uh, some sort of weapon on top. 50 cal or Milans, and that is really pretty helpful to deal with enemy infantry or enemy light armor here all around the battlefield. Artillery, we have some 155 millimeters in case you need some heavy artillery and against some other lighter decks that can't counter by the Rio as easily. This can really be the difference. It is not the greatest artillery piece against any deck that can counter by the Rio with long range self propelled howitzers or so. You will struggle with this against other decks it can be the the deciding card so having it in is nice and then some mort mortars for smoking to help out your infantry and so on to get them into places and then the, the tank tap is a solid tap as well um if you want to change these guys out that is a fine option uh, you could for example go for more cards of these guys or the leader card here uh, instead or another air card. Uh, the P4 is kind of an addition uh, on top. If you want to have some AT gems, but with the VABs, you already have a decent amount of um, Milans. That's why you don't want to get the Milan 1 truck. You already got some of those. The VAB Mephistos, really important as well, as the Mephisto is your only long range AT gem tool in this deck with 2625 meters, as the Milans all have the short range. And you don't have long range tanks either, so the VAB Mephisto is super key. And yeah, the AML 90 is here. It has some fast boys running around uh, on veterancy, so they have some decency 
uh, decent stats here. Otherwise, their stats are pretty terrible and they get uh, stressed out super fast. And you still get 14 of those, which you don't really want to use much more as the price is pretty high. Uh, AMX 13 here with its super high rate of fire. Pretty helpful as well. So that's why this one comes in with urgency as well. Then Recon Tap. Uh, we have some AMN 90s with very good optics that can be pretty helpful. And then we have the Marine with Smoke Grenade uh, and the VAB as transport. These really combine pretty nicely with the Command Delay Air. If you want to push those into range, uh, these guys with their smoke can be pretty helpful. You get 6 per card, which is really nice for 8-man squad like this. So this is a really good card. VAB helping with the speed and so on. And then the Reservist Declares as your cheap sideline 8 uh, has AT, 20 point recon. Like, this is a really cost efficient recon unit as well. Seven availability on these units, great as well. So, this is a nice flank protector. The LRAC is terrible, but it is AT, and that is all you need out of these guys. Next to being 20 points and having some eyes to, for, to see for you. AA, we see the Quotale, and it's pretty mediocre missiles. It has radar, so it can be hit by seed, but it can long range hit helicopters. One hits a couple more of those now, seven damage is decent. And then we have Mistralts, which can come around in the VAB as well. Though I actually think you want to bring them in the M201, as you already have the uh, ones with the long range 30 millimeter in your infantry tab uh, to go around the VAB T20. It, uh -huh. This might be decent as infantry support now as well, so yeah, this way it's a bit more affordable. And then Force with the price reduction lately, it might be okay as well. Um, the extra helicopter range is helpful over the 20 millimeters. So yeah, for only 25 points, you for sure want to up at them at least once, potentially even twice, to get some efficiency out of them. But on that point, they are pretty nice here. Uh, helicopter tab, you get some 20 millimeters out of these boys with six hit points. So uh, that is okay. It can hit a man pad and that is important. And that really makes it a lot better than the Gazelle Cannon. And then the Alouette here with the terrible ATGMs, because you need the ATGM helicopter, you take what you can get. It's a really terrible ATGM helicopter. And for 50 points, really not that great because accuracy and range is not that amazing and damage is also pretty bad so alouette 3 as 11 yeah might even be a 45 point unit uh, or 40 point unit but you take what you get and you need an anti-tech uh, hgm helicopter because yeah your long range anti-tank is pretty weak in this deck that's not gonna improve much here in the air tab where we Take the Crusaders and the Mirages. I still believe the Crusaders should go back to 3 availability, especially on the short range one. But in my eyes, also on the long range one, maybe push it up 10 points instead. But on 2 availability, it's a bit tough, though the missiles on this thing are amazing. Um, as are well, pretty nice, like they are long range, fire and forget. So you, for 80 points, you get some decent usage out of them. But yeah, the Crusader is still, I think, move it up to 90 or 100 points and then make it two per card would be the better deal here. Uh, we will see if we get that in the future. But yeah, for now, you can run like this. Uh, the, you could also run just six Mirage 3Es, but two Crusaders are better than the Mirage, one Mirage 3E. So starting with the Crusaders is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, that's why I go with the one card of those here. Super Nintendo Heart AT and Super Agent Art HE, putting it out in the end here. The AT pretty important to try to shoot down tanks and stuff, and the HE can come out with some decent 400 kilogram bombs as well to do a decent amount of damage as well with 30 ECM and decent speed. These are pretty survivable as well, so Super Agent Art helping out as a good bomber, keeping the deck up and running as well. As I said, you know, if you want to get one more card here, you would take this one out. So, yeah, what do we have in this deck? We have a solid all-around tank uh, infantry deck, uh, deck with a lot of APCs. The APC spam here is real, uh, combined with 4 deploy as well. So you have a pretty solid, fast early game with a lot of light 
vehicles coming around. Um, you have a solid support air tap, and you have a decent AT tap as well. What you lack for sure is high quality AT, long range AT and uh, high quality fighters and tanks. <laughs> so, yeah, there are some key weaknesses in this deck. Uh, I, we're going to see how it plays out. I don't think it's completely terrible, but it's for sure not amazing either. And yeah, we're going to see how it all plays out. It can be really aggressive, it can be really fast, and that is, is, is its strength, and I think it does that pretty decently. But yeah, it's it kind of like a TKS, but with a bit less air and so on. So yeah, we're going to see how it all plays out. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye, and have a great day.